Hi, it's me Guido again from Wacom and now I want to show you um, on my Cintiq 16 uh, from Wacom here how you can use a, a whiteboard software um, in this case I use a free or an open source whiteboard software from a Swiss uh, university it's called Openboard it's a very versatile software you can use it on Windows uh, operating systems on Macintosh and even on Linux and this software allows you to I would say emulate a classical typical whiteboard or uh, um, a blackboard you use at school and to use this tool to make your online schooling more lively and more natural. Let's have a look what you can do. So basically let me open open board and what you see by default is the interface which is a typical whiteboard interface so you can import tools, uh, you can import documents and you can use annotation tools like styli. For example here I have my um, stylus which is a red stylus and the nice thing with open board is besides the fact it's free of charge you have pressure levels so it, 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 it uses the pressure sensitivity of my Wacom Cintiq 16 and it also supports my eraser on the back end so I can erase whatever I do. So this is one case I can use the whiteboarding software to do my typical whiteboard work I would do on, 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 on my blackboard. I have highlighters so I can do marking in different uh, strength levels. So, But the great thing with OpenBoard is that you can also annotate your desktop and that means if I click on show desktop here I can work on any of my software applications I have now in the background. For example, if I have my browser here, so I have opened the topics about Heliantus, which is a sunflower, um, I can use my pen in here and do annotating and highlighting in the web browser. And if I want to use that specific content, I can do a screenshot of that web browser and can copy it into my whiteboard software. And now I have these in my whiteboard software. I can export it, I can share it with my students and it there for my reference. And it doesn't matter if I use a video application, if I use a browser, I can even annotate in a video. For example here, let's have a look. I have this video on sunflowers. Let's go a bit here and let's check here and say stop. And now I can use my pen and I can do annotations also directly on the video. Of course, it's not in the video, it's as an overlay in the video. So I can do my screenshot of the video as well. And I can use it in my curriculum within the OpenBoard software. The good thing is it's not isolated in the software. I can export it as a PNG and I can share it with all my students all the time. Okay.